So one of my favorite things to do is fish the rivers in the fall. And what I've figured out is that the later into the fall that you go, the fish get bigger and there's less competition on the water. The reason for this is, is number one, you know, a lot of people have put their boats away. In Southern Wisconsin, yeah, it, we're getting into winter at, at that point, but we still have a lot of nice days and stretches of decent weather where you've got some really awesome fishing opportunities. So I've set this Grizzly up with a 60 horse four stroke. The nice thing about this 60 is it has plenty of power to push this boat around, even with a couple guys in it. But more importantly, the, the 60 is a nice light motor. So if I get in a situation where I need to pull the boat across some ice, I know that sounds a little crazy, but um, it, it's a lightweight package that I can move around real easily. But when we're talking about winter fishing out of a boat, there's a couple things that you need to pay attention to. Number one, I check my lower unit lube on a regular basis. If you, for whatever reason, ingest water into your lower unit, that can freeze and crack your lower unit. So just simply by cracking that lower unit screw, if there's water in there, the first thing I'm gonna see is water. So as long as I don't see water, I'm good to go. The other thing that's really important is in the bilge area of the boat. Keeping that area clean, keeping your bilge pump free of any debris that could clog it up. Now you have to remember, once again, it's winter and you are gonna be dealing with freezing temperatures. So it is really important to make sure that your pumps and all the other um, pieces of equipment in the boat are free of any water or anything that could freeze. But I'll tell you what, think twice about parking it for the winter because there really is some great fishing opportunities for you.